KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets right around flat territory, mixed markets. S&P's flat right now at 3276. We got the Dow Jones negative by 41, trading at 28,915. NASDAQ positive by seven points, trading at 9210. Gold contract catching a little bit of a bid today, up about $5 at 1559. We've got oil negative 31 pennies at 5926 and the dollar index negative 68 ticks at 97380. We'll start things off we're going to start it off, jump over to the charts, and we'll start it off with the Dow. 28,874, looking at the March futures contract. We've been trending up over about the last couple hours. You zoom in a bit, you see the low that we made just after noon, 28,797. So we're up about 80 Dow points from that level. NASDAQ 100, we reach a high overnight at about 9,054. We dipped just below 9,000 briefly, back above that level at 9,014. S&P 500 trading at 32.76. The futures making a high overnight at almost 32.87. So we're about 10 S&P points off of that level, but again, trending higher over about the last two hours. Crude oil with some volatility in both directions today, right in the middle of its trading range at $59.36. There's your gold contract, some volatility on the jobs number this morning. We'll jump over to that jobs number in a moment. Gold trading at 1559 right now, and the euro US dollar trading at 11118. I mentioned the jobs number. There's your headline. 145,000 jobs added in the month of December to round out 2019, slightly below the expectation of 160,000. That's what economists had been looking for. Nonetheless, Unemployment rate holding steady, 3.5%. A more encompassing, pretty interesting fact here, a more encompassing jobs rate that includes discouraged and underemployed workers fell to 6.7%. That the lowest it's ever been since that started being recorded in 1994. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, Boeing, the news just continues to be damning. More emails revealed that hint to the fact that they were well aware of the dangers that 737 MAX may have. And to jump to some of the stocks moving today, there is Boeing, negative about 1.3%. How about L Brands? Catching a bid up about 3% as well. And on the flip side, Restoration Hardware down about 3.6. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.